Hey, today we're going to be talking about how to walk a dog from an animal communicator's point of view. Hey, I'm Danielle McKinnon and I am an animal communicator. Yes, that means animal psychic and yes, that means I listen and talk to animals psychically. In my almost 20 years as a professional animal communicator, I've had the opportunity to hear from many, many animals and specifically dogs about what they look for in a walk. So many of us have issues walking our dogs. Maybe you're worried when you see another dog approaching. Maybe your dog barks at everybody and everything. Maybe your dog pulls. Uh, there are so many different ways. Oh, I know another one. Maybe your dog is too afraid to go on a walk. Whatever the challenge is in my 20 years of being an animal communicator, I've talked to many, many, like tens of thousands of animals about what they want from humans. And I've talked to so many of those that are dogs who specifically are looking for something from their humans that they're often not getting. And this is usually where the problem arises. Now we've all heard how Various experts say you need to be in control when you're walking a dog. You need to have all the power when you're walking a dog. You need to be strong and powerful and be the leader. The challenge with that advice is that what we view as being a leader, we being humans, is not actually what animals view as being a leader. So emotions to dogs are um, signs of weakness. If I'm upset, worried, confused, discombobulated, even extremely happy or excited, all of these take me out of my normal natural pace place of being like in the zone and totally connected to my environment and totally connected within and, and very calm and peaceful and, and zoned in. Really zoned in is the word I want to say here. Animals look at this and they go, all right, something's up. Danielle is in an emotional state and she's in that emotional state, which means she's not in control of the environment. She's over there having her emotions going through whatever's going wrong or whatever is up. And so that makes me feel unsafe. When I feel unsafe, I'm going to become aggressive. I'm going to become the protector. I'm going to hide behind her legs. I'm not going to want to go on a walk. Whatever the solution is to my emotionality on the walk, the different animals have different solutions, but those solutions that the animal comes up with, they're, they end up being the problems that we have. We think that being a leader means control. We think it means, no, you cannot do this. Stay on the leash this way. Stay exactly here. Do that. We think it means like clamping down on the dog. And because that's what it means to us as humans. If I'm going to be the leader of something, I'm going to know the ins and outs of the whole thing. I'm going to make sure everybody is in line. I'm going to be on top of it and I'm going to correct them, right? I'm going to be like, like this the whole time. The problem is that's another emotional state, being like this the whole time, right? So if I go out to be in control on that dog walk and I'm powering through and I'm making sure that nobody's disobeying and everything's in control like that, it is not going to work for a dog that is having problems on the leash. So here's my tip for what you can do on a dog walk that um, will help move you through any challenges that you're having. It is still about being the leader and it is still about being in control, but what you're in control of is yourself. So if I'm walking down the street and I put myself in the zone and I, a lot of the time um, I'll say, okay, you know that uh, Bee Gees song, you can tell by the way I use, you know that song, I'm a woman's man, <laughs> whatever it is, I can't remember. That song, when you walk to that song, you are like, all right, here I go. I'm doing my thing. And I know I look like a dork. I'm aware of that. But it's like it puts you in a rhythm. It puts you very front and center present in the moment here, feeling your feet on the ground, being in your body. This is what a leader is to a dog. Right, because now the dog goes, wow, look at Danielle. She is walk, she is present, she is looking around, she is aware. I don't have anything I need to worry about. I don't need to protect her. I don't need to steer her. I don't need to hide because she's not in control of the situation. So it's a very different type of control. Get that Bee Gees song out, 
Sing it before you go out on your dog walk. Get yourself into that zone and be very present. And what you're going to notice is that not only will your dog react positively to you being in this zone, but the two of you will start being in the zone together, which makes for a completely different walk. Another option would be to learn how to connect with your pet, and so you can watch my video here about that. That's all. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.